All right, how you doing? Uh, in this video, I am going to be explaining and clarifying another Bible verse that has been distorted and twisted to no end because Christianity is not from God. Christianity is mythology. It is spiritism. It doesn't teach the true teachings of God. It does not understand the teachings of God because Christianity is based on mythology. It's based, it's mixed up with uh, paganism. So when you go to your church, when you hear a pastor talking, I pastor, when I say pastor, you know, it's like uh, not a, a real uh, follower of Jesus. You are listening to, to gibberish, gibberish, okay? And I am going to explain what Jesus really taught. Jesus said that another teacher, another advocate was going to come in the future. And he was going to guide the followers into all the truth. Okay. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I decided to pick this verse because it's a good verse to explain to Christianity the real teachings of Jesus and the real meaning of the Bible. Okay. So this is John, uh, 1 John 5, 6. I have, as I have said already in my other videos, um, Christianity is mythology because Christianity believes that spirit means entity, like an invisible entity. And that is not what the Bible is teaching. Spirit does not mean entity or invisible entity or individual. It means a way of thinking. So when you talk to Christians and they talk about the spirit, they say the spirit and the spirit of God as an entity, like as a third uh, individual in the Godhead. That's what they say. That's why when you see Bible translations like this one, all these translations here, you see the spirit. And this is misleading because this is not what it's saying. You have to understand also that Jesus spoke Aramaic. I don't know why the Bible was translated into Greek, and it doesn't matter. Even if it's Greek, it, this is now what you are reading because, because of translations, and not only because of translation, because of the teaching of Christianity that come from the Catholic Church, which is an abomination to God, which is a false uh, religion. This is why you have all this confusion. Okay. So I am going to I am going to explain this thing, and this will open up your eyes to further understand what is going on uh, with the you know with the teachings of Jesus. And um, this is the this is the website that I use, which is uh, studybible.info, which is pretty good. It's free. And it has a lot of different uh, versions and translations. So I am going to, to compare some of them for you. All right. So this is 1 John 5, 6. Uh, and this is the King James version of the Bible, which Christians say this is the inspired version of the Bible, which is nonsense. Okay. This, the King James Bible version is full of errors full of errors everywhere because of this mentality it was it was it's based the foundation the foundation is erroneous so everything that was built on top of it and this teaching of christianity is false so everybody that reads it understands it this way but this is not what it is this is not what it means and, and, and 1 John 5, 6, this is what it says. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ. You see, they still haven't fixed this here, saying Jesus Christ. Like, like if this is a name, this is Christ. It's not a name. It's not the last name of, of Yahshua, Hashua, whatever his name was. But it, it's not Jesus Christ. Okay, so this right here is an error. But, you know. Only the people that are looking for the truth know that. Most people on the street, you tell them Jesus Christ, and they 
you know, they say, oh yeah, Jesus Christ, like Jesus Christ. All right, so this right here, they, they should have fixed it, right? Because when you're reading this, this book, you have to understand what he's saying, or you're going to make up things in your mind. Okay, and I'm only going to be explaining here the end of this uh, of this verse. All right, so not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit, you see here, the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. Okay, that's the King James translation. Uh, I pick a few translations because they're quite different, okay? This is the die glad. This is like a more, like a literal, very literal version. And even in the, in the way it's written, it's not like, it's not like in English, it's like just very literal, supposedly from the Greek, okay? This is the one having come by means of water and blood, Jesus the anointed. You see right there, they got it right. It's not Jesus Christ. At least they got Jesus the anointed, right? The anointed one, the Messiah. Not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one testifying. Because the Spirit is the truth, okay? Now, if you notice here, up here says, the Spirit bears witness. Over here says, testifying, all right? Now we're going to go to the Rotherham. This is one of my favorite versions because they do a pretty good job in translation. All right, so I'm not going to read the first part of the of the paragraphs. I'm just going to read the last part, okay? And the spirit, it is that it's bearing witness because the spirit is the, is the truth. And this is more or less the same, all right? Now the uh, this is the CLV. Concordant literal version. Okay, this is he who is coming to. Okay, I'm not gonna read. I'm sorry. And the spirit is which is testifying for the spirit is truth. Then Murdoch, this is the Murdoch um, Peshitta, uh, supposedly taken from the Aramaic. Okay, and the spirit testifying because the spirit is truth. And then Good Speed, which is another uh, good version that I use sometimes. The spirit also testifies to this for the spirit is for the spirit is truth okay so what happens what happens here is that when christians read this verse they are they have already been indoctrinated to take the spirit as an entity okay and you see that's why it's translated uh this way like the spirit all right, I have already explained and revealed in my other videos that the word spirit means a way of thinking. And I understand it's going to take time for people for this thing to explode. And Christianity will vanish. Okay, because it's false. It's a false doctrine. Not only is it a false doctrine, people when people say Christianity, they, they think that Christianity is one thing, but it's not. It's a multitude of denominations and confusion, like somewhere around 39,000 denominations. So Christianity is not one united thing with the, you know, with the right interpretation. No, it's a lie. It, it, it's a, like the Tower of Babel. It's confusion. It's not truth because you cannot have truth in 39,000 denominations all right so uh you know that's what it is okay now so the problem the problem with this also is a problem with logic okay because if you do not understand what a word means what is the meaning of a word you are in the dark you are in the dark. You cannot put it together with other words to make a coherent, you know, sentence or understanding. So people repeat this word, and that's that they stay there. They just repeat it. No, the spirit is, you know, it's an invisible. It's it's not flesh and blood. It's a spirit, you know. It's another dimension and things like that. And people stay with that. And Christians will tell you that this is, but this is speaking of the spirit of truth. This is what this is speaking about, the spirit of truth. Okay, you know you have different spirit, different ways of thinking. 
okay and christians don't know this but you you have them okay so you have to identify this in order to understand it okay so and it is the spirit that bears witness this makes no sense when you read that like that it makes no sense because in the in the mind of of christian this is talking about an entity like like the entity is bearing witness is speaking to people inside of them in their mind or in the heart or whatever inside of them like this thing is actually speaking and that's not what this is saying okay based on on my revelations that i that i reveal what this word means in the bible this what this is saying here and it is this spirit and it is this way of thinking that bears witness because this way of thinking is truth so now if you're talking to someone let's say you're talking to somebody who's an atheist somebody who never heard anything about that and you take two people one person goes talk to one uh, to somebody to, to to preach to them and they tell them you know about the spirit and they make up all this thing about the spirit and another person goes to to teach another person and they tell them about a way of thinking okay what do you think is going to be clear mind is going to have a clear understanding of what this means the person that 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 you tell them that this is a way of thinking right because the other person is always going to stay in limbo with this spiritual thing like there are spirits and things like that and they will be always in limbo okay so this here means and it is this 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 way of thinking okay and it is because this way of thinking is truth or is the truth okay and this is connected and this is connected to to john let me look up the verse 